Greetings fellow gamers, this is Elvin Angel with part 11 of the Lost Crown walkthrough. We're going to be taking our leave from the cameras now that we've discovered everything there is to find. And heading out to find... See if we can discover any secrets concerning the smuggler and uh, that we read about, Spivey, and uh, the gruel person. And this is where we use the boating oar to get across. Yes, definitely a crowd. We can finally enter the antique shop. Now, let's try to find a link to Spivey, the smuggler. Symbolic images, ancient graffiti. for a load of crazy. I thought Punch and Judy shows had been banned. <laughs> I should go somewhere private to study. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Gruel, I presume? <laughs> yes, this is all very amusing, but I'd like to ask you something. Look, could we forget the ragdoll for a second? Jemima. Hello, Jemima. Can I speak with Mr. Gruel? <coughs> Mr. Gruel, I really must insist that you... Yeah, it, it, it really doesn't matter if you talk to him, whatever you ask, he's going to just mumble along with the doll. He's completely gone. So I'm not really going to bother. I'll have a look around, if you don't mind. possibly open this. That's not right. 
Hello again. Hello, lad. What can I do for you? Could you open this book for me? Oh, lost the key, have you? Not exactly. I never had it. Ah, uh, I see. Leave it with me. I'll see to it this afternoon. I'll leave you to your work. See you again, lad. We'll be back for that later. Hmm. I wonder where he is off to. It's a kitty. We're gonna follow him. Celtic Corner. It's worth a look. Very new AG. Can I help at all? No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Browsing, eh? See anything you like? I'll let you know. We're going to check the books here. We can find some interesting things. And we have a little uh, hint as to the legend that this whole story is about over here. come in handy later. So keep in mind where you can find it. As you can see, this guy, Reese, is the guy organizing the Sexton Snappers, for which we've uh, been working on. Could you help me? Certainly, anything for you, Nigel. Ah, news travels fast. The arrival of a young man in Sexton would not escape me. I see. Well, I hope I live up to expectation. Oh, you've already managed that. I'm Nigel, Nigel Danvers, and you are? I'm Rice. Thanks for asking. Rice bread. Is that Celtic, or Welsh, or something? Welsh? Well done. Not just a pretty face, you. Tell me about the photo competition. Sexton snappers? Yes. Can anyone take part? If you have a camera and a good eye. I'll give it my best shot. Any tips? Keep in mind that I see a lot of Saxton, day by day. So try to snap something a bit more unusual. Unusual? Hmm, I can certainly manage that. Know any local ghost stories? Oh, hundreds. Check the bookshelf, if you haven't already. I will. Is that your cat? Aye, meet Mr. Tips. He knows a story or two. What do you know about Nanny Noah? Ha! Old Noah been at you, has she? Well, I wouldn't say that. She just seems... Distant. She's a good friend. But even I have to admit that she's away with the fairies. Most of the time. Thanks for your time, Reese. No problem, boy. You. Any time. That's all we can do here for now. 
But one thing that you should check out if you want a good little grin. Look at that. Subtle little advertisements. <laughs> Actually, these are really great games. Try them out. keep on going down the coast path. And yes, my allergies uh, are still persisting. I'm sorry about that. Next stop, Norway. The bell has tolled, which probably implies that the museum is open. Uh, remember this spot. We'll be back here later. For now, it's evening, supposedly, so let's see if Bob's done anything uh, with the book we gave him. Hello again. Ah, young Mr. Danvers. You'll be wanting your book. Yes. Did you open it? Of course. Wouldn't be much of a handyman if I hadn't. You didn't uh, read it, did you? Nope. Reading's not my strong point. You can't read? Reading's not the only skill, you know. Oh, um, quite. <laughs> We won't be examining it here, since Nigel will insist on some privacy. I should go somewhere private to study the book. the rest of the book. The tracks, the fens. Perhaps this eager character lived along the train line. A possible lead. And we have a little hint. This first starts interesting, but it gets creepy along the way. And, uh, we can be pretty certain that Emily is now no more. Well, the only thing that you can do at this point is actually head to Sedgemarsh Station, which is what we're going to do in our next video. So, uh, this is Elvinage signing off for now, and I will see you all in part 12. Stay safe.